our next author comes to us with quite a gem that I think we can all appreciate. As humans, we experience stress on the daily basis, okay? From jobs to cooking dinner to folding your laundry. <laughs> Everything can <laughs> cause stress for us. And author Brian Ramos has given us the art of stress-free living, how to conquer anxiety, rediscover your true self, and breathe new life into not just your home, but your relationship. Oh, hey, Mark. Welcome, Brian. Hi. So tell us about this book, The Art of Stress-Free Living. What are some, some tips that you have for us to do just that? Well, I think that uh, oftentimes we tend to look outside ourselves for the answer, and that takes away the control that we inherently have. Mm -hmm. And so um, I made it my mission well over 20 years ago. I was very young. I wanted to discover uh, the secret to living disease-free and stress-free. You know, just to put it in perspective, to think about what I've been undertaking the past three months and between writing a book, starting a business, teaching, and other responsibilities, I put in a good 15 hours a day at least. And through that, I have not even come close to getting sick or been stressed. And it's uh, finding the right tools within you so that you can actually uh, navigate without letting circumstances outside of you dictate who you are, mm. whether it's a job, or a relationship, or even public speaking, you can get up on stage and you remain centered and controlled and anchored within yourself to really be able to let go of all those obstacles so that you can actually shine through and be successful. Because the goal of all of this is ultimately to allow people first to heal, and stress is uh, the number one killer in America. Uh, people don't know that. It causes 80% of all doctors visits at the bare minimum. And so we have all these things that we're doing to our body, not just mental stress, but physical. And so you have to learn about it. And so I, d I think I do a good job of describing what stress does from me being a scientist and I haven't studied this to what steps to take in a very holistic way that encompass every aspect of your life and how to integrate it into your workplace, which is important as well. We do stuff at home and then we go to work and we just run ourselves ragged. How do you do this so that you can maintain that throughout your day and so you get home refreshed and able to love your family and be there for them and not be this other person. Yeah, you, you mentioned that you would work for 15 hours straight. That sounds pretty magical. Like you have to have some <laughs> secret, I don't know, I think it's process or dust or something. How do you keep going? Like what tips do you have for people to be able to do that? I mean, I, I, I quote in the book Gandhi, which was asked uh, – you know, Gandhi, when are you, like, you going to take a vacation? You've been working 15-hour days for so long. And his answer was very simple. I'm always on vacation. Mm. And so I think that when you find what you're passionate about and you pursue that and you do all the things to treat yourself with love, you build your temple and you build your surroundings and you're doing what you're meant to do, then nothing in life is really stressful. Mm. Nothing is going to throw you off because you're doing what you were meant to do. And uh, helping people discover that is what I feel is my mission, and it starts with this book along with other ones that I already know I'm going to be writing, and uh, including, I think I'm going to be coming back and do another one with the author's way. Ah. Uh, so that's something that's going to be uh, very special for me, and I think it's going to be special for other people that I know I'm going to be able to reach. Okay. So with this guide, you give us tips to have a stress-free life. We know that you practice them because you're working 15-hour days and yes, you're not sir. stressed. <laughs> Was it always this way? Like, did you ever experience a time where you were stressed about things? And how did you find what you have now? Like, how did you figure out what to do to stay stress-free? I mean, I think a lot of times it's uh, when I was younger, I think that a lot of things that threw me off were when I felt out of control, where I felt like life was taking me where I wasn't meant to go. Mm. And, uh, and so I look back and I see decisions that I made when I was younger. And so I sometimes urge people to... If you want something and you want to achieve something, look for help. I've done that. I've invested a ton in the past year, whether it's through the author incubator or other business uh, coaches, what have you. You have to actually find that direction. So um, what often threw me off was feeling like I wasn't where I was meant to be, whether mm -hmm. it's a job that you didn't like or maybe you were in a relationship that you, that you were struggling with. You know, relationships that aren't easy and you have to kind of make them work for you. Um, so it's about being adaptable, but at the same time, knowing that at some point, certain things that you can't change that are making you miserable, 
hey, you gotta, you gotta do something about them. And there are a lot of things that you can do that do not involve anything outside of yourself. They begin with you. If you nurture yourself and you find the real you and let it shine through, then you're gonna see that everything is just gonna dissolve. Wow, it begins with you. Okay, so one of our audience members, Leslie from New Jersey wants to know, was writing and finishing your book everything you thought it would be? Well, that's a good question. Um, I mean, I, I think that I think that oftentimes I don't really go into anything with expecting anything. I just go in it free. Let's see what's going to happen. And I think it was actually more than I could have ever thought of, because at the beginning I, I didn't really have direction. So I wrote uh, I wrote another book actually that's going to be coming out in the future, uh, but. Uh, then I was trying to get it published, and I found that people don't realize how difficult it is to get books published and the nature of it, especially as a first-time author. And I feel that um, finding this path and meeting Angela and her group was really helpful for me as a first-time author to get that direction because a book leads to many things, whether it's speaking or whether it's starting a business. And learning those aspects of that other mm. side of writing a book was extremely important. So. It really opened the door of my mind to anything. I feel like I've been, I went back to school. I've yeah. been in college and learning all this stuff and getting an MBA again. And, you know, it's kind of been very fun because I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm very passionate about learning. And, and so it's been a great experience. Yeah, I can totally identify with, with that. Like, yes. same thing. I was like, okay, I have to get this book done. But there's all these things that I found in my research that you have to do. And I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm going to figure out all of this by myself. So finding the author incubator was for sure like the saving grace that I had in my exactly. life as well. Well, that book was The Art of Stress-Free Living by Brian Ramos. Congratulations again, Brian. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Likewise.